All right, butter. How's it going? Yo, Cam, how you feeling, man? I'm feeling good, man. Glad to have you back. Man, it's, I, I'm glad to be back, man. You know, I, you know what I'm saying? I enjoy being up here, man. You know, I've been making no noise up and around this bitch. You know what I'm saying? Hey, and while we and while we speaking of me making the noise around this bitch, you hear me? Next time you have yellow bitch up here, don't bring me to, you know what I'm saying? Don't bring me up with yellow bitch. You feel me? Ain't no smoke with yellow bitch. Yellow bitch ain't getting no clicks. You know what I'm saying? He can only get like 10,000 people to watch him on his channel. So you know what I'm saying? So I understand like using my name to keep boosting your shit up. But gang, like the fans ain't with you, gang. You feel me? So like, I, I, I ask everybody <clears throat> that come on Cam Capone's show, gang, don't talk about me, gang. The fans make fun of y'all in the comments. They like, y'all ain't got shit else to talk about with butter. That's because I'm lit, bitch. I know. Stop playing, though. But now, nah, though, back to Yellow Girl, though. He be tweaking. Yellow Girl be tweaking, bro. You know what I'm saying? Ain't got nothing against him, though. But it, I, I feel good today. You know what I'm saying? Name a rapper that's coming in this, coming, doing interviews. Doing everything, scared. I'm doing everything at this point. And I think I got my producer sitting in this bitch with me, Joe. Ain't no rapper doing that. I'm, a, you know what I'm saying? Pull up. What you doing at the studio? Pocahontas and Cinderella call. They what you doing at the studio? <laughs> so what exactly uh, didn't you like about what Yellow was saying about you? Everything, you know what I'm saying? Everything Yella said was like, it was all, it screamed hate. You know what I'm saying? It seemed like he was trying to get everybody to come and uh, ride his coattail, digging that. You know what I'm saying? Oh, maybe if I go take the same steps he took to get up where he where he at, maybe I can get that too by bashing him. And so, but like bashing me ain't the route. Like, and then like, What's really, what makes it so crazy is I had to find out through the media. Like, nigga, you got one number, bro. How many times I done dropped my number in your DM? Come on, bro. Like, you feel some type of way? I oh, took a shorty call on my phone. You run into the media, it's like you crying for help. Because my so gangster, call me with the game. Let me know it's on. I'm finding out through the blogs you feeling some type of way is crazy. I, I find it insane, bro. Period. I, like I, I find it crazy. Like, gang, call me. You know my number. Too much of this on the internet, nigga. You crying for help, but you talking gangsta on the internet. It's like you can't pop gangsta shit, brother. And. In front of millions and thousands of people. But then when something go wrong, it's like say, oh my this person telling on me or this person telling on me. Nah, bro, that's just like the sloppy six game. Like, no funny shit. They screaming, everybody was telling on them, but when it come down to it, like they all told on themselves. Everybody, everybody had a f up throughout the case. One person saw something, one person got shot, this person did this, this person drove they car. Like, ain't nobody telling you niggas gang. You can guys tell you yourself. They said in the interview, gang, y'all sat in an interview on top of the cars. It's crazy. So it's like, with Yellow Boy, I, that's why I wanna get with, that's why I'm getting that with it. Like, gang. You feel some type of way call my phone. I've been on the road, been traveling. Oh, um, bro, I've been getting up with my You know what I'm saying? I don't never mind getting up with his big teddy bear. That's a big ass teddy bear, Scud. I don't took it like, you feel some type of way? He know I'm not dude. On oh, my brother Gray, like shorty who he smacked on camera. Like how you smack a motherfucker for doing some, some, some creepy shit, right? When you been to jail for creepy shit, gang. You mentioned the old block guys getting themselves into trouble. For sure.
Can you can you expand on that a little bit? Like, I mean, I I I, I vividly just like painted the picture. Like, I really just if it came to this shit being art class, like I would be the number one student in this shit game. You see what I'm saying? Sometimes they go over a lot of people's head. They be, oh man, I ain't catching. Well, yeah, but did you catch that? Now look, we gonna talk about the sloppy six. Tell me something. You gotta tell me something, right? I'm trying to figure something out. Tell me something, gang. Gang, they did a lot of fucked up shit. They did a lot of fuck ups on the hit that you getting paid for. I don't know if they really got paid for it. You know what I'm saying? This is what the internet, I, like, I'm just reading the internet. So, it's like, gang, if it's money involved, and we like, my life is stake too. Cause just like I'm finna go take a motherfucker life, I can go to jail and lose my life. Or I can die on this lick. Or on this hit. Right? So if, if I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna do it right. And if it's done and we, we knock a motherfucker off that's as big as duck, shorty on took a day would have never saw me in the camera again. Them cars would have never been synced again. It would have been no hiddle riddles of duck around me while I'm around, gang, on camera. We ain't doing that. That's real business. But instead, motherfucker got wrapped in the internet. Like, come on, bro. Y'all gave the feds, y'all like, y'all gave them their case. Songs, interviews, motherfuckers, lives. Y'all was doing a lot of goofy shit, gang. So, and all this shit coming out now. Now, I've been reading this shit. All this shit been going on. Been reading. Because shit, shit getting deep. Motherfuckers, that's a lot coming out in this shit. I'm like, shit that motherfuckers didn't know a certain type of truth to. Now motherfuckers figuring it out. And I really just feel like, shorty sure know. I don't took, I don't give a fuck if they dead or in jail. I, and like, a lot of motherfuckers be like, damn, butter. That's crazy you just said that on took it. That's just how I feel. I feel like, hey, look, listen, gang. At least they gonna be able to raise their kids. They might not be able to be there and raise their kids and uh, like outside of prison, but they gonna be alive like as long as they good with their kids' mama. I mean, they ain't gotta be with their kids' mama, but as long as they good with their kids and their kids' mama, like they kids should be there and they life for them. But that's y'all f up. Just like it was quick, it was as quick as a motherfucker. I wouldn't have did my time. I don't took, I ain't come home crying about nothing that happened with me doing my time. I don't shun I hang with Queen D, everything. Like, and motherfuckers be like, oh, I a lot of people ask Queen D the same thing. Like, why y'all hang with each other? What do I got against Queen D, yang? I don't, bro, like, we fed up at the end of the day. We, we fed up. Even though me and Lil J ain't do nothing, we still fucked up by allowing them to be sitting in the car with us while our homie doing the hit. Knowing we don't even move like that. My f don't hit. I only, I like, I barely bash the victim. I only bash the victim when that bitch come out and say something. Like, gang, you can't say nothing, Moo. You told Boss M. I don't took it like you had a dying declaration. And not on top of you told him tell her, right? I don't care, because if he would have told it, told the truth, then it would have it is what it is, right? But he told and lied with a little bit of the truth. You see what I'm saying? That's why I mean we end up doing so much time. That's why we had a struggle with the state back and forth in court. You know what I'm saying? Because they try to hit us with robbery, all type of goofy ass shit. Because shorty to my all, I sell weed. They try to rob me. Shorty, what the fuck is we robbing you for? Like now. Nah. Shorty, if he ain't get that settlement, he wouldn't even have no money. You feel me? I really got out of I like I had to come out of the jail and re do everything all over. I had to restart my whole life off of a stupid ass decision that we made. Shorty, like Shorty still walked the streets. I was took I was just on Molly wearing them shit on 119 game. Pull over and go get me some pills. Well, no, I be having them pills, Shorty. Go over there, go give me some pills. Guess who walked to the car? Y'all for the thing I'm lying. Y'all think I'm making no too good. Y'all really think I'm just making shit up at this point. Boss M come to the car. 
Oh, Lil Brian. Oh, Tugga. Folk them tell you the same story, be like, yeah, shorty came to the cop. But I like, boy, that's my victim. He, what, how many of y'all need, bro? <laughs> He's just casual. Cause he ain't even looking at who in the back seat. He just talking to the motherfuckers in the front cause he know folks know. But I'm like, boy, that's my victim. Folks are ready for the doers ass. I'm with the splats on too, but they ready for the splashes ass. But I'm really like, gang, the nigga ain't died the first time on Tuga. And he told. Now who's to say? His ass don't die this time. His ass gonna tell again. Like, it gotta be real though. Right? I don't want no smoke with Mook. Like, I, I done seen his, his baby mama that left his ass after, after I went viral exposing his ass on Tuga on Say Cheese. Baby mama done post a picture with Mimo. <laughs> oh, took this shit get real though. You see how real this shit get? Glizzy got right out of there on his ass. This nigga would just hit this bitch all. He hit this bitch on the go. Oh, bro, busting all type of moves. Took her. As soon as I expose her baby daddy, tell the whole world like, yeah, her her baby daddy. Who her? She <laughs> stiff on. Watch out, little bitch, because she knew I wasn't wrong. She didn't know a mother. Can't say nothing bad about me without saying it ten times worse about her baby daddy. Cause he actually told. I just told on the dead motherfucker on my case and my sister, folk. Like real real life. So I come on, bro. I I ain't saying it like I ain't saying it like what I I ain't saying it just like, oh yeah, okay, yeah, well, but I on took I'm a man, folks, and I'm a man before I'm anything, right? And I stand for what I stand for on Lil Brian. So that's why I'm so comfortable with flat out be like, nigga, folks them was dead, gang. Do I go do a hundred years or go do I do it? Go do I do a hundred years or do this life? When folks them dead, they can't even charge folks them. You gotta know your rights. You gotta, you gotta understand your your rights as an American, as a whatever the you want to call yourself at this point because you got more Samaritans and shit that live here and some of them don't don't follow the will of the justice system and this that and the third because they morse right and if my was previously listened to what I've been telling for from the beginning I'm like nigga I'm a morse I've been working my way about this bitch oh bro but like I just you know I just really feel like man shit get crazy and when it comes to this shit, a motherfucker cannot say that anybody told on the sloppy six. If we're going to talk about anything, the sloppy six f***ed up. And they, and they ring nigga, and they, they, like the motherfucker who they claim to look up to and she's supposed to be the killer, this big time killer of all killers, right? Everybody loved it, Vaughn. Every, like, all them little niggas looked up to Vaughn. All them little niggas wanted to be Vaughn. A lot of they little ass still want to be Vaughn, right? Right? Or you know, like real life, though. I like a lot of people want to be Vaughn, right? But let's just point out the fact that even Vaughn was doing stupid, sloppy shit. Because Vaughn, he, he, he allowed y'all to move a certain type of way where... Oh, two good real niggas who who handle in business, even they even though they in the media like it's a lot of niggas who motherfuckers don't even know, like really be in the mix of real handlers. Like you gotta know what a handler is, bro. And a lot of motherfuckers don't know what a handler is, bro. That's why I be telling them handle me right, gang. Cause I'm a handler. I'm with the handlers and we gonna handle that shit, shorty. So like I don't move sloppy gang. I'm not flashing the handlers. The motherfuckers who I show on camera and shit like that, like these motherfuckers. Are already on camera like social media big and this is what they doing. You know what I'm saying? So motherfuckers gotta think about the off-camera people that motherfuckers deal with on their day-to-day lives, on their day-to-day basis. Like that's how Vaughn supposed to be handling with Shorty now. Even if they did want to be handled that way, I'm big dog. Motherfucker, hey look, the little nigga uh fats. He said some real shit in one, of, in one of his songs. He just dropped that. He, he just dropped that. That's like two weeks ago. He said the oldest nigga on it, he get paid the most. It's about, it's, he's, what he said, it's about senior, seniority. Thank you, brother. It's about seniority, gang. Like, and motherfucker look like 
see murder and Vaughn and like, folk, them niggas grown as like we grown as hell, gang. Still no one's to blame but them because Zell told, my, mur, 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 uh, Murder Seat told, like, come on, gang. Teasy told, wait, that's his name? Te Tizzy? Teasy? Like, Andy just raped his celly. Don't sleep on your belly if you don't trust your celly. Bitch, they tell you that going in jail. They tell you that as a kid, shorty. Oh, my kids, they tell you that. They tell you that when you come in, like, when you a shorty, give me a lighter. I got to smoke today. Shit. Man, you know, when you was at the ID, before going to the ID home, even on the ID home was cornball, folks. You went to one man cell. But before you went to jail, you didn't even know it was a one man cell. I was like, yeah, it's like five, six motherfuckers in the cell. Nah, I'm talking about when you a kid. Be no, I'm talking about before you go to the ID home, like, you just doing bad shit and all your people around you like, hey, man, you keep that shit up. You're going to go to jail. They're going to rape you. It's like five niggas in jail in a cell. They're going to hold you. Like, like, if you had real motherfuckers that was trying to keep you out the streets and shit like that, bro. Oh, bro, like, they was saying fucked up shit to try to scare you from going to jail. And I wish I would have listened to them. Because I ain't going to lie, G. I, I, I feel like I would be bigger. Way bigger as a person. I ain't the internet. I feel like I've been bigger as a person. I feel like I've been succeeded more in life. Like, I feel like I have more in life accomplished than I have now. Like, right now, I'm playing catch up because I went to jail as a kid and came home a de uh, adult. But are you were you surprised to hear the news about TZ? Man, I ain't gonna lie. That shit my head up, cuz. You hear me? I'm telling you, man. That's real shit. You don't trust your son, you don't sleep on your belly. Man, that shit gets scary, bro. I ain't never experienced it. Like, I ain't never had no freaky ass Sully, gang. Like, oh, um, bro. Like, I didn't hear some Sully one head, he had life in 36 years. I ain't never had no freak for those Sully, though. I know a freak when I see a freak. You ain't coming your freaky ass up in here. On um, Tuka and I, we, I, I was scratching you at the door. Why you take off on him, man? That ass looked creepy, fool. He couldn't come in here, bro. And I just told him he, I wasn't taking no cellies. Like, I had a lot of peas for cellies, though. On oh, my DM, I had a lot of players. Oh, bro, it started off all young niggas. Then I, as my time, as I got the bid, my aggression level got to going up throughout the system and shit. They got to house me with all, all the motherfuckers. Everybody I was housed with was like, 35, 40, 50, 60, 80 years old, motherfuckers who been in this bitch. Oh, bro. That's why I really, I really do move with a with a silk collar, gang. Oh, bro, like this piece shit ain't on me. This shit in me. Oh, I'm talking for real, gang. Yeah, but that shit, that shit, it was that was that was surprising. But then again, like, shit, look J gay. <laughs> shit. I just told my fucker J ain't the only gay nigga gang. I tell you, shorty them from over that gate too though. I, oh bro, and then the little freaky uh, I mean a uh, little freaky dude stop Sydney stop see it stop. See what? It stop. Yeah. See it stop, bro. Oh, see it stop. <laughs> see it stop. So man, Buddha. He's a, he's a man. Been a man. A still a man. He's but look though, like dude said, he didn't he done got a couple of sneaky bitches out the O. And don't don't you one thing I'm telling y'all, shorty. Sneaky leaky is crazy. Them Geechee don't be lying though sometimes, G. Like, I don't bro, for real, for real. Like, them Geechees don't be lying. But Geechee man, Lil J, he be lying, folks. I don't took he be lying. Because don't make me gay cause you gay cuz. Oh, folks gray. That's your lane. You already got my calling me Italian beef and Pepsi. Now I can't even go get my favorite. Now I be going that bitch Italian beef and the seven up. It's like Italian beef and Coke. I don't want a motherfucker crack no joke. I might take it to the heart. Italian beef again. Italian beef again. <laughs> but give me a Coke. <laughs> 
A tiny beef without the snitch, bro. Stop playing, bro. Cause that's how I'm placing my orders for now. A tiny beef without the snitch, bro. Stop playing with me, Lord. No, oh, seriously though, you know I'm just really trying to. I'm really trying to catch a humor to to all this shit, cause like I do got a humor side, you know what I'm saying? But I, I like I ain't gonna lie, I can honestly say like since I opened up to the to the humor side of the comedian side of the internet, right? And I ain't gonna lie, again, like my fan base have grown, and on to it, like the comedians, the inner city comedians wanna f with me. You know what I'm saying? The out of town comedians want to do skits and shit with me. Like I was supposed to Ben 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 did some shit with Uncle Hank for. I think this is like my third time saying that shit. Ain't it? Oh God, after I did some shit with him, I saw my, like my third time saying that shit. But yeah, I'm gonna I'm actually do it though, man. You know what I'm saying? Shout out Uncle, uh, shout out Uncle Hank, man. Uncle. Fuck around, fuck around, fuck around with skin bone too, man. Slow down. You know, slow down for show down. No, I gotta do my boy Reggie, baby, bro. Oh, burn pole too. I gotta do that. I gotta do my shit. I gotta go do all my boy Reggie first game. Reggie gotta get out first. Yeah, oh damn, he is book game. Yeah, he come in. He come yeah. In I ain't gonna lie, he was getting busy on house arrest like me, shorty. But didn't even know he was on house arrest. He was at club. He was doing everything. But that, it just show like shit when the money call, you gotta go. Gotta go. Gotta go. Gotta go right now. Gotta go. Gotta go. Gotta go. Man, I ain't, hey, look, I ain't missing out on no meals. Hey, shout out to No Jumper, though. I ain't missing out on no meals, though, Neil. Thanks, No Jumper. So let's get into the whole No Jumper thing, man. Let, let, let's start from the beginning so the people kind of know what's going on. All right. One thing that's been going on a lot lately with you, man, is you've been having this issue with No Jumper and Adam 22. I believe it started a few weeks oh, ago or, or maybe, Adam, you know, maybe even a while ago. But... Can we start at the beginning? You know, so you had an interview booked with No Jumper. Well, and, I did. And what happened? All right, so, you know, my my deposits and my deposits, you know what I'm saying? And, uh, you know, I, I my you know, I told them the deposit was 3K. You know, I I did, I really did have plans on making it because I had other attentions for Adam. You feel me? But I don't took, I am a grown man with responsibilities, right? So... I couldn't do what I wanted to do with the Splacks because on took that would have took me away from being with my child. So what I did was with the 3K, I started going doing what I was fed to do because like, we was down there. You know what I'm saying? We was like five hours away. You know what I'm saying? Remo, what's his, what's the fat boy name? Remo, fat boy? Nah, I f with him though. Let me stop playing like I ain't know his name, man. Nah, Remo, that's my boy. I, I I actually got food number saved in my phone. I actually do f with him. Like outside of what I have against Adam, I actually do f with him though. Real shit though. And like he know I was actually on the road. I was actually go. I was coming. But then my entourage, my entourage is my entourage. And to know me is to know my entourage is gonna be my entourage at the end of the day, right? And if anything go wrong, you know what I'm saying? I'm the one the, for the blame of it because I'm the one who I'm in the light. You see what I'm saying? This is a vibe moment. Stupid ass on folks' grade. Instead of letting my team, the motherfuckers who helping me thrive and survive, send them up the river like, instead of me sending them up the river. Because granted, I could have gotten more money. Making it there, showing up, right? I could have got more money doing what we was gonna do to him and that bitch, cause we was gonna humiliate them, uh, humili humiliate them on camera. You don't know, I be have to peel so f what? I can't get every word right, bitch. Yeah, but anyway, like I was saying, we was gonna go out there and embarrass they ass, gang. You feel me? The whole team, like. Who are them? Who, who the fuck are us? Think about who we are in real life. Like, <sighs> shit was finna get sticky. I'm took like, fuck all this bapping of my homie. Like, shit was finna get sticky because the people I move with are very sensitive about Wooski's situation. And ain't nothing really too wrong with folks. So it's just he not into 
His oh, he not into the old shit. Folks on some grown man shit. He done mature, but he still, he's like still a kid, gang. But he mature, gang. Folks ain't knowing what he was on. But back then, Wooski was still moving like he was 16 when folks was 19, 20. Now he moving like he 19, 20. Folks figuring life out. So for you to be playing with folks like he, folks, if he far from slow, far from all I asked you to do was put your big boy shorts on. Put your big boy drawers on, gang. Like, you know what I'm saying? We grown men. We all grown men. Put your big boy drawers on, gang. Apologize to this brother. He did nothing wrong to you. Oh, bro, like, I saw him and saw my baby mama the other night. Oh, now you disrespecting dads? Like, that shit, this, out, this internet shit can really turn into some real life shit. Like, you know what I'm saying? But due to the fact of me being who I am, I'd rather just shit on him. No matter, he can keep talking. He, he, he said in my DM, oh, I'm going to, for the rest of my life, what do he say? Blackball you and tell people not to fuck with you and not to work with you. So you're going to spend the rest of your life doing that, right? And how that's going to make you look like? A, a hating ass bitch. And a lot of niggas gonna not going to fuck with you just off the script. Like, you telling me what? Because he did what? He told you to, to apologize to his homie because you started some, some shit that in real life you wasn't going to get yourself out of if it came down to it. Because on Tuka, we are not who we are not nobody from Cali or none of that. Like, you know what I'm saying? If our agenda is to kill y'all, we're going to come kill you security and all, gang. We going to kill your security and kill you, Goofy. Like, it, it'll get real. Right? We not from L.A., none of that shit, gang. We ain't got time to be bapping perky with you, gang. We ain't doing none of that shit, bro. Like, if we going to come, we going to come, gang. And I ain't saying like niggas in L.A. don't come because on oh, my homie, I got some I got some crip and some blood niggas I fuck with down in L.A. I'm GD. I'm GD as hell. So I like, but the role of 60s, I, I fuck with them, shorty. Oh, bro, and we fuck with the grape. Like, motherfucker, gotta really think about this, right? When when I touched it, when I touched LA, who I all I was gonna really be in LA with, cause I ain't been off house arrest in a minute. Motherfucker ain't seen me moving around in a minute. I've been making plans to come down there for a minute. Just think about how deep we was gonna be there. Who's to say, like, we could have did anything to them in there, but that shit was gonna all fall back on me if motherfuckers would have lost their life. Cause that's what it would have came down to. Cause everybody on some stay ain't ground shit. Oh, bro, that's what my well, like. I got I like lately. I've been going to look at bars and shit. I think I've been having paid security in that bitch with me. You play with me, bitch. They gonna kill you. So I know how I, I know how it can get. Like instead of putting my homie in them life in danger or any of that, like okay, now I'm gonna troll you. Like one way or another, and all you had to do is be a, on Tuka, be a grown man, bro. Because, granted, he's older than all of us. It's like, he's old, gang. He's like 40, so then at 50. If not 50, gang. Hold on. Damn. I'm, I'm talking to you off my whoop. I can't even pull the shit up. I want to pull up on two. I, like, I got all... I got all your information, man. I sent it to him. He know I got all this information, man. I sent him all this information. It's crazy, gang. You know? He told me, I said, come through. Why would I come through, gang? I showed you like how serious shit can get because you just dissing dead people. You didn't know that I hear what I hear, but I showed him. I didn't show him because I was showing my hand. I was just showing you like, hey, you wasn't expecting that. You got to always expect the unexpected. I'm too, I, like, I'm not broke, gang. I got a little paper too, gang. It's nothing for me to get nothing wherever I go, gang. I am who I am too, gang. Like, and just like I got your information and showed you, pulled your shit up, and pulled, like I showed you your shit. And I know his heart was thumping. I know he that I know he got security over at the house with him right now. Oh, you ready to move? Oh, Tuka. I guarantee you he probably at his other house. I guarantee you at his guest house. Guarantee you he at the guest house. I'm Lester. Hey, man. Or Atlanta could probably. Oh, Tuka, bro. Like, chill, gang. She can get sticky. You mad because I told you to apologize. 
Then you went to the internet and said, I was lying about taking your money. I did take that shit, nigga. With a PayPal account that I don't like, that's a finesse account. I, I saw a lot of dumbass people under the post tomorrow. You're in a negative. What's going on? That's what we do. <laughs> we negative niggas out. Gang, you ain't never been zero, stupid bastard. The moment that shit dropped, I was at the ATM machine. Stupid. Thanks, Adam. Thanks, Adam. I've been paying for my city. I hear my music. And I've been bad features. <laughs> what happened what, yesterday when you guys were kind of going back and forth? He lagged, ain't he? He went to the fans and told everybody, like, oh, he, he, he never sent me anything. I never got paid. I'm a liar. That shows that I be too high of drugs to know what's going on. I probably took money from someone else. No, I didn't, gang. How of drugs? The only person how of drugs look like is you. Coke, like you coked out, gang. Oh, bro, like, that was some real shit. And then, like, I just find really, uh, this shit really is funny as shit to me. Cause, like, Within the last two months, he done made like 95% of Chicago look like buffoons. Like, in all y'all went out there. Like, some people are so blinded by the clout game that y'all not even addressing what's really going on. Like, y'all be, y'all, like, I was just fit to be up there, right? On the platform, I could have been the voice for that, right? But why would I come on your your platform and let y'all to leak what y'all want the internet to see? You know what I'm saying? Cause y'all can't forget that short uh shorty from the Rolling Sixties who did the interview with them. Oh, Is his interview out? Yeah, his interview. I think his name Brick Brick Baby or something. What what they dropped half of it? Yeah. A snippet of what they, what they gave what they gave the world what they wanted to see, right? Yeah, they ain't post all of it. Because I I, I saw shorty brought up that Adam was a and everything, like he brought up everything about Adam playing with look booties and shit. Fucking on and shit. Come on, gang. You are a gay swinger. I'm done arguing with you, man. I rest my case, man. You, 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 you have a rape. And you you a gay swinger. Like, you you like the fuck man too. Yeah, the brick baby. His name Brick Baby. Come on, bro. Dude, work for him now, don't you? That's why, oh man, all this, all that shit, all that, all this shit be flawed out. All this shit flawed out, man. This shit entertainment at this point. Hey Zeus, holla at me, holla at me, baby. Tell Zeus TV holla at me, man. I got the entertainment for the rap. Oh, bro, get up with me, man. Tell Zeus TV holla. Up. Hey, hey Camp, you know you my dog, right? For sure. You know you my dog. Go and get make something happen for us. Cause you know they let me on that bitch. You know who I'm taking with me. Got a few blogs, y'all coming with me, nah nah. You know what I'm saying? We gonna make that shit happen. Give us give us a platform on Zeus with all our brains together. How y'all think that's gonna work? I'm thinking we gonna turn Zeus into like a multi billion dollar empire if it ain't already up. He Zeus just be going crazy, man. They be going crazy, man. Let's be going crazy. Oh, man. I couldn't imagine 10 Chicago dudes on Zeus all in one house. Man, they got to put me on a... <laughs> it, it depends on what type of Chicago dudes we putting in this house. Oh, man. Nah, for real, though. Because no matter where you at, like... Motherfucker, ain't got to be a common ground with putting 10 Chicago dudes in one house. Like, as we talking about, like, a mix... Breed of dudes, like a mix. What? Well, like speaking of Chicago, what we talking like ten notorious hoods from Chicago, and ten of notorious faces from Chicago in one house. Shit, I ain't going unless they get that. That ain't gonna work. I go though. They give me like five meal. I'm gone. I ain't gonna lie to you. Shit, I'm gone for two. Oh, Jaja, I'm in that bitch. Oh, folks, great. What, we gonna bump on camera? We gonna show the world who a bitch in this bitch then.
Hands up, guns down. Y'all know I like to fight. Shit, nigga, motherfucker, get a tool in this bitch pocket. Crack two tears in the bucket. I robbed the white nigga and went to the black dude. It was like, fuck it. I'm gonna watch him crack two tears in the bucket. And that's what happened, man. That bitch been on the internet crying and lying. On the, on the pair of these, Lord. Man, this shit getting out of control. All right, well. Hey, FPG Cam. Young. Hey, Cam, not to cut you off, right, bro? Right? But as a man, right? Do you feel that he should, like, do you feel that I went about it wrong? Uh, asking him to apologize to Wooski? Because he don't know Wooski. Wooski never came for him, never attacked this man. Never said nothing bad about this man. So where, where do his hate for Wooski come from? Something happened between him and Wooski. I don't know what that happened. Was after, that was after he talked about Wooski being slow on five different occasions. Making fun of a person's disability is, is a little bit low. He's so not, dis he, he, he not, he not disabled. He ain't got no disability. He just got shot in the head. Like, you try to be yourself after getting shot in the head. You are, it's going to take you a minute to snap back. And after you snap back, you're not going to be fully who you used to be. Yo, yo, man, you shouldn't want to be the same person you you was. You got shot in the head being that person. I ain't come home being the same person I was when I went to jail. That shit put me in jail, man. Yeah. Come on, bro. I'm going to pop my shit, though, because I ain't no bitch. I ain't my homie like I ain't no whole gang. I don't care what no nigga say, shorty. I ain't no hoe. But it's like, man, we grown, bro. we grown as hell. You know what I'm saying? You cracked a little funny. I know everybody look for those viral mo moments on their podcasts and shows. But it's like the man never, the man never said nothing bad to you, gang, until you you said something bad about him. With then they, everybody who went up there. Rico Reckless, fucking goofy BD buddy who ain't even really BD who talking about oh, my kids, shorty. What's, what, how the song go? That ain't my baby. I'm not your baby daddy. And then he dissed you. Shorty dissed you. In the song. Shorty, no, nah, he dissed Adam in the song. And shorty, like, cl the clout chase is real, gang. Why you didn't go so hard on him? Like you going wooski. He actually dissed you and your wife. Like he actually had something bad to say about your wife, the person who you who you swore, swore up to the almighty power that you will love and protect forever. As y'all shall live. Come on. It's and, and it never grow apart, right? And, and to death do you part? And death ain't do them part yet. Apart yet. Uh, you think she did? Her legs did. Uh, Shit, that did. Spreading your legs is crazy. Yeah, it's crazy. I mean, it's crazy. Huh? And then she bouncing for the though, like, gang. Granted, she might be getting paid, but it's like, gang, is it that, like, the like gang, is that that much money? Is money that important? That you don't care about your, 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 your woman's worth? Like, y'all already rich. Y'all already rich, gang. So what do the, what do the worth and the self-respect come in at? This is my wife. Y'all remember house party? I, I believe it was house party. When Bernie Mac came in and was like, ooh, 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 ooh. Now I remember you. They used to call you, they used to call you Joe Bone. He say, that's my whole, I mean, that's my wife you talking about. But he had to fix himself. Because granted, the man knew his wife was a hoe. He called her. He said, ooh, I know you. They used to call you Jawbone. Man. Like, where's the self-respect at? Like, I would took a... If I'm already rich, it's not, it's not enough money you can pay me or offer me to allow my wife to be penetrated by another man. On camera, in front of me, 
I know what it is. You like it. You like that shit. A motherfucker can't knock what you like, right? But it's the self-respect for your wife. Like, now y'all got the world watching y'all. Y'all rich as shit. And you got your wife getting hit by this, that, this, and that. And on top of that, you probably sucking this too. Freak ass, man. Oh, too, like, you, you, you called me zesty. The man called me zesty, shorty. Oh, too, you, a, you laugh. Sit on your lap, brother. No disrespect to Sid. No disrespect to Sid. Like, there ain't no disrespect to Sidney Star gang. But it's like, gang, okay, Adam. You have a lot to say about gay people. What you did. Cause you get you shitted on Lil J when that shit dropped the, about the shot right Tajarinja. You hear me? They the same thing. He was chasing that too. So you telling me you chasing chicks with you like bussy? Your wife just with you. Like at this point, I, hey Lena, this not even about you, baby girl. Oh, uh, but I, at this point, like, is you with this because he got money? Because that shit disrespectful. Like, he just let a, a man sit on his lap. A man that he paid to come out and sit on his podcast at that. Right? I ain't knocking Sidney Stoss money. Because I get paid to come out on people's shit, too. To just talk and talk shit to kick it and bring my sense of humor and my, uh, you know what I'm saying, my oar. To a, to, a, to a setting, right? So we ain't, it's not about that. It's about, hey, Adam, too far is too far. So you feel like Adam went too far with everything? Everything, gang, like, at some point, everybody got to just take a step back and say, what is we doing here? At least what the fuck is he doing here? Because everybody who got up the... Except for like Ruga and certain other people who he know, you know? He played with them. Or he leaked some shit that wasn't supposed to be leaked to social media because a lot of motherfuckers like, man, take that shit out. Because motherfuckers do fuck up on camera. Trying to get a point across. Or just caught in the moment. Gang, be a man. Apologize, man. Like, I really do feel like that's a self apology should go to Wooski. I say, that's a self apology should go to my baby mama, mama. Because I don't took her, that lady, she feels some type of way. Like, what, what me and you have going on, that's between me and you, you know? Her daughter had nothing to do with that. Oh, bro, you should apologize to my, my baby mama, mama for saying, her, her daughter, cause her her mama and her family ain't got shit to do with it. my baby mama ain't got nothing to do with this. I got down on you. I finessed you for saying for talking about my homie being and then talking about Mama Duck, making fun of her. You know what I'm saying? Cracking little little slick jokes and shit about her clothes and all that shit. When other people came on the on the show, like that shit wasn't cool. That shit wasn't called for because you paid them same people to come out. You paid her to come out and you still owe her money. I mean, I wouldn't have left LA without getting my shit. But that's the difference between me and her because she didn't get paid what I got paid. I don't took her. I got paid more. My deposit was more than what she got. It shows the levels. We're all not on the same level. Because I heard her say, like, oh, I mean, you know, I'm bigger than butter. Okay, Mama Duck, your son's bigger than me. I love you, though, Mama. Just chill. She studied going on podcasts, then brought my mama up in this shit. My mama is a real mom, gang. Like, like hold on, let me put my let me put my liquor down. My mama, my mom is a real mom, gang. No funny shit. Like, my mama is one of the mamas that like, a lot of people wish they had growing up. Like, a lot of her kids wish they had my mama growing up. Oh, Tuka, I never been homeless. I never stayed in a shelter. I never stayed with nobody else but my mama. My mama always had her own house, gang. 
Respect my mama. I love her. My mama is the reason I'm out of jail. What are you talking about? You really know for doing these interviews and having these wild takes. But a lot of people might not. They probably know, but they might not know as much. Is that you actually put out a lot of music. And a lot of these videos actually do really good numbers. You know, I'm, what I'm you not a rapper. Going on with I pull in the rapper numbers, but I'm not a rapper. <laughs> mm. What do you have planned on the music side of things? Like when it comes to the music side of things, like I, I, I just switch genres. You know what I'm saying? I've been doing emo, and then I've been doing pop. Also, you know what I'm saying? So it's like. I don't know. I mean, I pushed myself to be an artist because I wasn't a rapper at heart. I knew I wasn't a rapper at heart. Like, so I'd be like, boy, I'm not a rapper, you know? But just because I'm not, just because I say I'm not a rapper doesn't mean I can't make great music because like, I make a lot of good music. And I, I definitely want to give a big props, big shout out to my boy Dariana Don. You know what I'm saying? Because since him, Bodine, you know what I'm saying? Since I've been f***ing with bro now, like on some real shit, like this ain't me, whole none of that, like on took it. Like, since I've been f***ing with bro now, they really been changing my lane of rap. Like, I can always go there. I can go there, you know? Because I can pop my shit. Like, I ain't one of the niggas. Like, I, it's easy to rap at this point. Because I can pop my shit. I pop my shit when I talk. So how I can't rap? You know? You but just I, made a new song called Exposing Them. So what was going on with that song? What was the motivation for the song? It's supposed to be called Exposing Me. You feel me? Because I didn't just expose them. You know, I put all that shit out. I put the shit that they put out about me out too. You know? Because, like, at, at some point, motherfuckers can't throw rocks and hide their hands. A lot of niggas threw rocks and hid their hand, right? A lot of niggas had, had, had shit to say, had something to say about me. And I didn't come for nobody who didn't come for me first. You feel me? Like, I f***ed up on Say Cheese platform, because Say Cheese, I said the same thing on Say Cheese platform, like, oh, I ain't come for nobody who ain't come for me. I didn't. In real life, because he's like, what about Lil Durk? Lil Durk ain't never come for you. And I f***ed up because I really wasn't thinking. But in real life, Lil Durk did come for me. When Lil J dropped that fake paperwork, Lil Durk, Lil Durk tweeted in, he made an Instagram post that said, I heard some paperwork just drop. Let me read that and see what's to it. All right? So you feel like Dirk was taking shots at you at that point? I mean, like, ain't no feel, ain't no sugar code in the game. Like, he said what he said, you know? Is that the only interactions you ever had with Dirk? Have you ever met Dirk or ran into Dirk or anything? Ran to Lil Dirk one time, bro. One time. Okay. Well, I ran happened? to Lil Dirk and Lil Reese together. They was on 61st of King Drive. But we went in tour with them. You know what I'm saying? We was in tour with 600. And so we was on 600 at 600 store. And we was looking for 600. When we bopped in that bitch, me, Tutu, Lil B. Lil Darrell, Lil Mikey, Kyra. The real do it crew of my dead homie. The real do it clan of my dead father. The real do it crew. We, we there and center. My dead brother. All us here blicks. I was took her because they used to run in packs. So we get up there. We get the Get in the store. We bop through the store. Lil Reese on Lil Dirk. That's Lil Dirk with the dreads, though. He shit like my length right now. Oh, um, bro, he and that bitch Pelly on dreads, dreads down, had on. My aunt, now I ain't really know who he was. Like I heard him, but I ain't really know dude. You feel me? They, they from past, they past state, shorty, anything past state, not my ops. Oh, um, bro, like nine years. 
But back then, boy, I don't even know you niggas over there, gang. I ain't y'all too far. Bitch, I'm on feet. Oh, no, bike. Here it is, Jordan. Or on a bike. So when we walk in the store, we see him, Lil Reese, Lil Dirt, my homie Tutu, get right on him. My homie Tutu get right on him. He, oh, I'm in here about myself. My homie Lil Mikey, instantly look over, look at him. Lil Mikey getting that, boy, Lil Dirk, what up? Lil Dirk, Lil Dirk, what's up, boy? Phone him, get right on him. Well, they, what up, boy? Tutu getting that, he, Tutu get that bone down. I'm like, Y'all with that, y'all with that 600 shit? Y'all with that Brick City O Block shit? They hell no. Nah. Oh, BD. Took this little Reese, exact words from BD. Hell no. Nah. We don't fuck them little dirt. Like, boy, we is from Lamron. We ain't, we ain't, we ain't clicked up with nobody. We, we Lamron. We from the land. Oh, BD. We right. Oh, all right. We bop out that bitch. Fourth grade. But. If we knew they was with that shit, my dad and grandma, beans and spaghetti. Fourth grade, the beans is the slug, the spaghetti is they brains. Fourth grade, y'all gotta catch up, no master. If that shit went over there, here, they beans and spaghetti. What are you talking about? When I put this motherfucking slug in your motherfucking head, that's the bean. Your brains is the spaghetti new to house. Pasta. No, nah, though, seriously, though. No, nah, though, gang, like. How long after that did things go bad between you guys? Probably like, maybe like two, three years later. The whole time they was with that shit the whole time. Because right after that shit, Lil, Lil Reese and Keith did that in traffic song. In the same car we caught him in. What do you mean the same car you caught him in? Same car we caught Lil Reese in. Oh, um, bro, the white Jag. They was in that white Jag. The rental, the one they, they scraped it. The one he went to jail for the stuff. That bitch say retail that, but he really just got caught in the, in the, in the rental. Stay in the striker. Retail that, that bitch ain't nothing. 2500 I'm bought it out. I ain't even see it in the county, bitch. I'm gone. I'm downstairs to receive it. Never left the bullpen. I'm keep y'all head up, gang. Huh. Towel on my head, shorty. Like this. Oh, bro, sitting up on the wall, big boy style. Ain't no sit down. You ain't gonna walk up on me and take off on me. Nah. I'm took you take off. I'm on my feet, cool. And I'm nice with my shit. Folks gray. But dude, them ass goofies. Bro, they ass really goofies. I paid the way. Literally, she asked me, ain't nobody do interviews. Big Zoo, nobody. Nobody did interviews. So at least y'all ass wasn't getting paid off them bitches. <laughs> Don't be great. Now all y'all niggas do interviews. All you niggas got something to talk about. But I don't know who started this shit. Well, I like shorty them started all that bopping and shit. I'm the one who started this shit. For like folks them, my homie and the BDs like, they got it for the drill culture. Like, we all in the drill culture. But, like, when it comes to starting some shit, I, I'm really the starter of this shit. When it comes to the blog, like, I, I'm the one who started this. I'm the one who got the starter kick. And I'm the one who be starting shit. Oh, um, bro. That nigga Adam said, you're not smart at all. I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to make sure nobody works with you for the rest of my life. <laughs> you, you, you meant every word, every word of that. Yeah. See it better for my white friend. Let's get back to this song that you released, man. Uh, I you, know, you dropped a few other names. Man, all them who got exposed and they play it with me. Okay, you got uh, Cairo, E-Dog, Fei Fei. Did I say any? Did I tell a lie? Cairo and them got bitch. Like the full video, Shorty them was jumping over the ca the counters in McDonald's, jumping out the windows in McDonald's. They was in that bitch, shitted on them. Mm -mm -mm. Cool them hit that bitch. Fool them got scared. But like, you hit St. Lawrence and catch us in the St. Lawrence stuff like that. I'm gonna kill you in this bitch. I'm talking. 
and we gonna erase the camera footage. You, folks grave, and drag your body outside and leave you in front of that bitch. Folks grave. Oh, uh, for R. P. Pedro. Hi, right, Pedro, bleach that bitch down, shorty. Leave your body in front of the store. Tell the police you got splat coming in, trying to come in the show. But nah, though, that would have never happened to us. Don't never let that shit happen to me, yo. And I be in restaurants, I'm fat as hell. I'm really a greedy ass shorty. Like, so I be in all the restaurants, all the liquor stores. Bitch, you swing on me. Be prepared to fight. Like, just be prepared to fight, gang. Like, real shit, like, I'll put your banger to the side. I'll put all that motherfucker. Everybody tough with a gun. I could kill a nigga and still go to sleep tonight, too. But can you get that ass whoop and go to sleep? Because on Tuka, I can lose and go to sleep and wake up and talk about it. And I can beat the f*** out you and wake up and talk about it, too. I can't you wake up and do the same thing, too, man. A lot of you niggas are cowards. You bitch ass niggas never could fight, never, never. Do. You niggas, like, a lot of y'all, I never fight. Ah, I don't, I don't know. I will beat your bitch ass. Like, I don't took a, I wanna fight Cairo. I wanna bump with Cairo, like box. I wanna, I wanna get it on with Shorty. I, I wanna get, get it, get my one with him. I don't took like all, all bullshit to the side. Like, him, SG, Batman. It's a couple of niggas, like, I don't took like anybody. Who watch this interview and y'all into boxing and y'all know the hookups on the promo, you know what I'm saying? So we can get this shit up and rolling like some real some real shit. Like, um, bro, we gonna make Chicago great again. Y'all remember all them old the knockout, y'all remember World Star, the knockout king videos and shit? I used to, that's why my hood called me the knockout king, because I used to be chasing that world star knockout video. I was took it, folks. Like, damn, I'm damn, I can't. I can't get on world star and I'm putting shit, putting shit down. One punch. Pool. Oh, what happened to him? Pool, pool. Uh, folks, Dray, knees, kicks. So, like, I get busy, gang. Like, I can really get it on. Like, I'm a mixed martial art fighter, gang. I don't mind bumping. Like, so it's like, let's make Chicago great again. A lot of you niggas can't fight. I just throw that on the table. A lot of y'all are big and bad. You niggas can't fight. Cairo, you can't fight. Fei Fei, you's a bitch. Oh, Tuka, Fei Fei's a bitch. I don't even like talking about Shorty. Oh, Cairo, like, I rarely talk about him. Like, he done talked about me for the last nine months. And that's the only reply he got was exposing this right now. I would never argue with Fei Fei, right? Because he tried to compare his situation to mine. Oh, Tuka, nigga. I never tell on my bros, nigga. I never try to swap my freedom for none of my niggas. Never in life. I I want on took a nigga. If it's me or my dog, my my dog, I'm going I'm going in, brother. But you got to man up now. Now you got responsibility. You got to take care of me and my kids. That's real nigga shit. And if you know you can't do it, then shit, we got to swap positions. I still take care of you, bitch. I take care of a lot of jail niggas, nigga. A lot of cash out money go through through the app for for jail. Oh, bro. So I know. I I'm glad a lot of my homies are in jail. I enjoy talking to folks now. They still alive. They still f here. My homie called me. Quan, like, hey man, my son' birthday coming up. I need y'all to get this money together to get this shit. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Granted, the same money he was having us to get together to put on his books to make sure he got commissary, to make sure he got money on the phone, to make sure, like, to make sure his son' parties took care. We could have used that same money to bond Quan out. But it shows instead of him, be, he he wasn't being selfish. A lot of niggas like Fuck, they bond me out, and I'm gonna take care of my, I'm gonna handle my responsibilities. But folks, like, hey, look, I didn't. I won too many times. You know what? Hey, look, if y'all gonna help me, y'all gonna help me. Y'all ain't, y'all ain't. Y'all don't took it. You, you gotta respect niggas like that. That's a real nigga, folks. A nigga who did his crime and not worried about how everybody else feel or not trying to put their blame or they fuck up on the next motherfucker. But instead, they asking for help. 
Ain't nothing wrong with asking for help. And a lot of you niggas scared to ask for help because a lot of y'all have done so much foul to the people who y'all know would have helped y'all in those positions and these predicaments y'all be in. Because a lot of you niggas ain't right. You would never hear no foul on my name amongst my people. I don't steal from my people. I don't, I don't sneak this on my people. I don't bring harm to my people. Period. I can't say I, I can't say folks them do the same for me. I can't say damn. Folks them don't sneak this on me. Folks them. I can't say that. But I can say I got a few people around me who I know like even if a nigga sneak this on me, surely they're gonna listen to us being said, but then they gonna stand up for what what's right. And them the niggas who I f with. Oh um, bro. I could be around with a lot of niggas. A lot of niggas be fake as hell, phony as hell, shorty. I'm too cause shorty. Like, and there be a lot of niggas that see like, damn, I was bogus as hell for the way I was treating my boy, right? And now they like, damn, that motherfucker see like the motherfuckers who they was riding with don't even I don't took it like I had a motherfucker, right? That was young and dutchy crazy, you hear me? No funny shit. And when everything started going on, folks sitting in jail. I ain't gonna say his name, don't gotta say his name. But folks sitting in jail, they know who folks is. Because when folks call and folks people them call, they don't answer the phone for folks them. That's why I say I'm the, I'm the better nigga in FBG right now. I'm the best in FBG. I really wanna make FBG great again, nigga. Like folks can't nobody, can't none of the guys call my phone and I don't put money on their on their books. Nigga, from Jaros from to STL, from STL to EBT, nigga, from EBT to TW. From TW to Crazyville, from Crazyville to oh my dead homie JoJo World. I send money in, gang. I got my Call on eight trading them on the moles and them shit like and motherfuckers don't even like motherfuckers what? I said money in, I don't play. I don't play. On Tuga. Because guess what? They sitting down for the shit that I could have been out there doing. But instead they was out there doing it. So guess what? I'm in another position. I'm in a better position. So guess what I'ma do? I'ma do what the do is do. I'ma do what the handler do. I handle shit. I'm just a handler. I'm not no chief, not a gang of force, none of that. I'm just a handler, the gang. I handle shit. I make sure shit handle. I'm the motherfucker that's gonna get that shit done. Everything I said retained that song from Fei Fei. How I won't swap, swap freedom for dude, like with uh, with Vine. I ain't get on Vine. You know what I'm saying? I ain't get on, I ain't get on Vine, Babyface, Bite Down, Rondo number nine. It's a lot of people I ain't get on because at the same time, gang, every story, not for the net. Like, not, Rondo know he ran with his pipe, little Steve died behind that. And Rondo also know he took the stand on that. I took, like, if you pay, most pay attention to the video, if you stopped and when I said what I said, I put a fact right there for y'all to see. Bite Down, Babyface, they know that for a fact they got up there and pointed, Scrap out as Lil Steve Killer. But I'm not, you know what I'm saying? That's not my place to be up on the internet doing all that. But that, that's why they be saying about Iraq. Right. But nigga, the, them niggas are already told. Folks did. Beat, beat the body came home. Let's not forget that. Scrap still beat the body. Even though all of them got on the stand, folks still beat the body. Because it did. Big Les, that's why I look, I look. I never play with Big Les. Nothing like that. Like, I love fathers and parents like Les. Mothers and daddies like Big Les. When that little nigga got snatched, when Big Les heard the police was looking for his son, that nigga went and got his son a lawyer and turned his son in. Granted, it took Scrap like nine months, eight months to come home. But he came home. Motherfucker can't say the same thing about Lil Steve. How well did you know Little Scrap? LeBron, who Brian Marquise? MOB Scrap, yep. My boy. That was look cuz. Like that's my baby mama favorite cousin, gang. Like that's self, that's that's self-explanatory. Like, that's my baby mama favorite cousin. My baby mama was my best friend. You know?
Do, do you have a favorite story with him or, or hanging man, out with man, him? Man, me and Scrap Shorty, like, Lil Bro, one of them niggas who can't tell no story about Shorty that without incriminating them motherfuckers. Or yourself. Oh, um, bro, because, like, I love Scrap, though, like, on some real shit. This is a fat fact. I mean, one time we slide on MOB and them shit. Me, Billy, me being a uh, couple of us. But, you know, being there to it, 051. You know, 051 at the time was what well, they was with MOB and them hard. Way before it was a YM Jaro. That's what motherfuckers don't know. But we was locked in with MOB hard because half everybody from Jaro City or STL got a cousin or a brother from MOB Scrap Gang right now. You feel me? Like real life. So, and that's how it is for 051 too, though. Like my big brother 051, my cousin them MOB. You see how you see how that work? White white nothing from the O. Blood, LA, 600. Blood cut, Buka 600, the cousin. D from 600, my cousin. Tay, 600, my cousin, gang. Like, but we all, everybody, we is what we here is, gang. And we ain't what we'll never be, but our family is our family. We never attack each other. Like, you get me and Tay, we'll go, we'll, we'll, we'll send a shot at each other, but we always let it be known, like, nigga, cousin, not a goofy. Tay don't be like, Tay don't say cuss all over the internet. I the one who be, I let it be known. Like, that's, boy, that's my cuz. I let my know even when I talk shit on them. Boy, my little cousin, I don't be. But I, at the end of the day, what I say t to him or about him, I, I that, that don't mean I allow you to say, I knock you the f out, put him, I put you to sleep. Noodle leg you. Nah, keep, well, watch your mouth. Put you down. Well, watch your mouth, but don't play with my little cuz. Find somebody else to play with. Like, motherfucker don't hear white, white name getting mentioned in the media, gang. Motherfucker don't hear whitey getting mentioned, boy. Ah, black out, boy. I'll tweak on you, boy. Boy, I'll tweak on you, boy. Real life tweak. Boy. What you said? What about my look? What? What you said? What about my blood, boy? Break your motherfucking jaw. That's why I don't disrespect certain ops either. Because I ain't got time to be tweaking my homie, though. Because folks don't be tweaking. So I keep a certain, I keep certain ops names out of my mouth, all that. But like, boy, it's a respect level with me, man. It's a respect thing, man. We grown as hell, though, boy. You know what I'm saying? And when it comes to everybody who I mentioned in this post, I ain't lying on you, niggas. I ain't say nothing that wasn't true about none of you niggas. Not Bezu, not Dirk, not none of them niggas. Well, it's not open to the public. Like, oh. So what? Y'all don't want the y'all don't want to pay attention to what y'all got going on. It's what I'm taking. Y'all can put everybody else's bullshit on the table. But when it's y'all's in reverse, motherfuckers in they feelings. But it didn't show y'all why the, the GOAT, the ultimate clout game, wasn't what in a position that he's supposed to been in. Nigga, I'm doing interviews on Tuka. I cause a threat. I'm a threat. I'm a I'm a threat, shorty. I'm my dead homie. Cause they know I'ma get wild I'm gonna play with me. You pull up, I'm gonna get busy with you. Oh, folks, great. You know you pop your shit on this internet. Oh, took I'm not hiding. I'm not hiding behind the camera no more, shorty. Y'all can't forget. I was back in the back of the back. I always played the back. Y'all favorite rappers and shit brought me forward. Oh, bro. I'm big slimy fucking T, shorty. I don't be. Hear me? What's up? Go to this mumble. A rap this little ass stuff, choke him out, we gonna eat him later. Fucking go eat him later. Oh, Neil, nah, but see this though, like, y'all gotta 
do y'all hurry, pay attention to and stop letting a lot of this shit go we out here. Y'all see y'all be these big these y'all top rappers they they, 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 they shit. Like even y'all favor comedians and shit have to acknowledge me, man. You feel me? Like motherfucker had to acknowledge me, gang. I'm s I was dude then behind the scenes. I was the threat behind the scenes. Now motherfucker know, right? If this bitch was a problem, playing the back, we didn't get we getting this bitch a little bit too much leeway. Like I've been took like sure that this shit been going so good for me a lot lately. Like I ain't even bragging on took. I rarely brag, gang. I always say I'm broken shit, shit. I ain't been broken a minute, gang. On Shondell, I haven't been broke since my baby mama Destiny died. I have moments where I might not have what I'm supposed to have. But on two, I ain't broke because I'm Kyra. Like, I still got people who love me. I ain't burn my bridges. A lot of niggas burn bridges, bro. I ain't burned no bridge that was that was given to me, gang. Y'all, uh, and motherfuckers can't say Adam. Don't scream at the, EV, the TV and be like, oh, Adam. I didn't burn a bridge, shorty. That bridge was already broke. That bridge was built for disaster. Let me tell y'all. If a motherfucker can make fun of a dead person, mama, like he he never make fun of Vaughn and he don't play with the BDs, mama, y'all. Right? Yeah, right? So if he can play with the face of one of the faces of drill scenes that's no longer here, makes Duck Soul rest in peace, gang. If he can play with this man, mama, right? And still try to sneak and show re respect, cause you you didn't fuck with us until Vaughn died. And it was years after Vaughn died is when you start with us. Because your agreement with Vaughn and OTF label and Empire and them that, that as long as you working with him, that you couldn't work with us. Mm. Right? That was what y'all contract said. That's what you exposed in one of your interviews. No one knew that, but you you let it be known. Right around the time when Cash and all of them came up on his platform, right? You exposed this to the internet, right? So what what did that tell you what type of person that you really are? You in it for the money, the attention, and the fame, and anybody that you can downplay or benefit off of, right? You that's you chasing that shit. You super chasing it. You trying to gain the you trying to gain success that you already have. You don't got to do none of that. Like, gang, you rich. But instead, instead of you being rich and doing productive things and making sure motherfuckers elevating, like, on Tuka, like, we got to stop the peace shit going on, right? I mean, we got to stop the violence shit going on. Like, like we really been trying to start the peace and stop the violence, right? We're starting to back up. But every time anybody come on his platform, if you in tour with anybody, and y'all could be just some squash some shit. But a lot of motherfuckers be so high and so in in these interviews and so dull that it, they get lured right back into it. Because in real life, they really never gave a fuck anyway. Right? But at some point, like, when is motherfuckers gonna stop, pay attention to what is he doing? All right, I'm, good. I'm, I'm, I'm gone from it, man. I ain't even mean to go back there. But this is, it's real, gang. Shit is real. And motherfuckers gotta pay attention to what's really going on. On took it because we really are giving people more access and power to y'all brain than y'all think that y'all are. Y'all really are allowing people to paint narratives for y'all and create agendas. Some agendas not all genuine, not some of them not all real. Everybody have a motive behind every agenda, gang. And I ain't gonna lie. Like, I ain't I don't see nothing good coming behind Adam, gang. Oh um, bro, like, I don't took a folks like, and that's not me being racist, gang. Because I have more white friends than y'all believe. Like real white friends. I have white friends who I died, who are long, 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 like Long-term friends, gang, that been in my fr that been friends for so long that they became family. No matter what their skin tone is. So when I say what I'm fit to say, do not say I'm racist. But Adam is the devil. 
on Kyra. He's a culture vulture. That's the devil in disguise, brother. Because he don't care who he shame. He don't care who he belittle. As long as he gets some clips. As long as he get uh, on Tuka, he an attention sinker. If he can get some attention off the situation, he doing it. And he saw that him picking that Wooski and nagging that Wooski and going that Wooski was... It was bringing people from our side. It was bringing people from Chicago. They had an opinion about certain things. And it, like, honestly, a lot of them feel like no jumper opened up a lot of doors for them, right? But them same doors that y'all thought y'all opened, like, on two of y'all get laughed at too. Because everybody got a viral moment where no jumper made everybody from Chicago look like an ass on his platform. And I have too much going on in my life. Like, gang, on Tuka, you play with me, on, I would kill y'all. I would kill a motherfucker on camera, gang. And wouldn't give a fuck on Tuka. I go to sleep until I'm and I go on Tuka, like my people. I'm like, nigga, we got enough money to keep, I keep running until I get tired. On Sean Dio, shorty. And that's what motherfuckers be forgetting, bro. Motherfuckers don't really be knowing what they be knowing. But a motherfucker, y'all let the internet corrupt y'all, bro. The internet became the new TV. You remember how most used to say BET and love and hip hop and so much other shit was the devil and the devil controlling the entertainment and shit like the ent entertainment, right? Mm -hmm. They're like game. You're doing the same thing with social media. Use your brain, bro. But I ain't gonna. I'm not gonna tear down the social media platforms. But I'm telling y'all, like, at some point we gotta call. Bullshit for bullshit. Like, y'all gonna step on this shit and tell me you ain't stepping no shit. But you tracking shit through this motherfucker. $190,000 condo we in. It's crazy. And this is not an Airbnb, bro. It's not an Airbnb, bro. Bro. 192 what? And I ain't paid for it. I wanna pay at ease. To my nigga, but guess what, though? I live in this bitch like I did. Thank you, Adam. Thanks, man. All right. Now, I think one of the most shocking things that you've recently talked about, man, is your issues with Mama Duck. Mm. I like my only issue with her is I went too far when I called out her name. Right. But I did that out of what the, the things that she said on social media. But when it come to Mama Duck, like. I don't got nothing bad to say about her, bro. I don't took that still my baby mama mama. That's why I'm still going hard for her. And I always stay. I don't f with her like that. But ain't nobody going to play with her in the media game. But she brought family issues to social media. And I feel like it was for some clicks, too. Because the shit that she had addressed to Lil J, oh, did I f you shit? Like, nobody on the internet is supposed to know that. Even if she was trying to prove something, she could have called me or had her daughter to call me because her daughter was sitting in the same house when she did the shit. You see what I'm saying? Even though her daughter got her own everything, that girl had her own everything since she was 18 years old. Oh, bro. My baby mama was homeless probably once. After that, my, once my baby mama was legal and old enough to get on her shit and get her own, nigga, my baby mama was out on her own, gang. That's why I love that lady. Like, I don't shit on her, even though a motherfucker be trying to paint narratives or uh, something else on Tuka. Like, she know what's going on, bro. On my homie. Like, that's her mama, bro. You know what I'm saying? And I get it. It's her mama. But at some point, she got to speak up, gang. She got to tell her mama, like, ain't no way in hell you supposed to been on the internet talking about my kid's father, the same motherfucker who take care of them. You know what I'm saying? Like, she claims she bigger than me. On Tuka, if you bigger than me, then my name, you, you shouldn't want to give me no more attention than I already got. But due to the fact, like, I would have never called out her name, but you called me, you, you allowed the man to call me gay. And you indulged in this shit to try to call me gay with him, right? And then not on top of all that, 
on top of all of that, you said, yeah, y'all, he want me to choose Lil J. He want me to choose him over Lil J. But you tell me and my mom that you never knew J. Main and Lil J had you on live while you was doing it, right? This is what she told us. But I really listened to what she said. She said, Jala. If it was Lil J and J Main, she would have been like, if she knew she was only talking to Lil J and J Main, she would have been like, Lil J, it, he, wanted, he wanted me to choose between you and him. I'm took I never, ever came to her and said, it's me or him. Let me tell you why. He's a he, he's gay gang. I'm too good. At this point, it's like I'm too. It's like I'm, I'm arguing with my boyfriend, folks. I'm tired of talking about Lil J. I'm tired of feeding into this mama duck shit. You know what I'm saying? I'm I'm bogus for cussing her out because that's my kid's grandma. But she even bogus her for running to the internet with house with house business. You remember when you was a little kid and I don't know, everybody's family wasn't always together. Some people live with their mom and went to their dad house. And some people live with their daddy and went to their mama house. And you know you get your ass whooped when you say anything that go on outside of this motherfucking house to anybody. And you ain't stopped. At the Lil J situation, when you did the shit on live with Lil J and J Main on Tuka, you went on five different platforms before I went on one platform and said something about the situation and addressed the situation. I really do feel like she too old to be in the media saying some of the shit she say and doing some of the shit she do. And when I said, motherfuckers don't see my mama in the media, when I said that in that interview, that shit must have scraped the nerves on her because... After she did that interview with the podcast people, the podcast people post my mama picture up there, me, her, and my mama. Why does y'all got my mama face on the internet? Oh, nobody even know who my mama is. But I guarantee you I know who some of the people that picture. That's why I was so pissed. My mama go to work every day. My mama save people's lives. My mama work in a hospital, shorty. People get shot, stabbed, raped, and all type of shit. Every day somebody find me up at the hospital again. Take one time for somebody to go up there. The wrong motherfucker to go up there and see my mama at work. All because you wanted some attention. So yes, I called out her name. Yes, I belittled this lady because I could have said more. I don't took her, shorty. I don't cry her again. Then this nigga Lil J, you playing with my mama game. Yo, mama ran a daycare. You raped one of the kids in the daycare. You can't even be around on Jaja. You never stayed with your mama, gang. That's why you stayed in the streets, gang. I don't took her. Yo, mama ain't yo mama been on Section 8. Y'all pay this big money shit, nigga. Yo, mama was on Section 8. Yo, mama went to jail. Yo, mama was living with now. Yo, mama live with another mother. Let's talk about that. Let's talk about how your mama ain't got her own. You make so much money, Lil J. Why the f you ain't buy your mama no house yet? Huh? Why do your mama live with y'all, her little sister? It's crazy. Your mama living with Shahida. Shahida got them like, like four kids in her career. Yo, mama, that's five people. Plus her, Shahida, nigga, that's six. Y'all and that bitch packed like Mexicans. That ain't no disrespect to the Mexicans. Come on, gang. You want to talk about a motherfucking mama? Let's talk about your mama. Your mama lost everything because of your your fuck up. Stop blaming me. I took. I never told her your mama, nigga. What did your mama do for me to tell on her, nigga? Your mama fucked up. Listening to you, cause you was trying to cover your bullshit up. Guess what? I took all these videos and you. These dropping around with these choking these up, all this shit dropping. Cause guess what? Guess who it fall back on? Oh, took a shorty. This life is a circle. Who who goofy? You think if you make the same mistake over and over, you gonna get a different result? Hey, dumbass! You gave the world our, you gave social media our real name. 
Hey, smart ass. You so smart, you stupid. For you had a point to prove, gang. Your point was so big to prove that you bought. Hey, look. And the motherfucker can't call me wrong on this. That you fucked yourself over. Oh, Tuka. That's it. Look. Gang. You wanted me to lose so bad. You wanted me to not win. Gang, no success. Make no paper. You want to see me dead because of your fuck up. I'm Tuka. Because you had to do more time because you was out on bar. And you was trying to figure out why my people didn't want help you get no lawyer. No, why the fuck your mama with her super smart ass with y'all got so much money. Lil' J, you had so much money, gang. Why the fuck you ain't have a lawyer, brother? Why you had a public defender? Why did you have a murder task force? Why did you fire your murder task force and your public defender and start defending yourself after your mama went to jail? Because you fucked up once again. It come down to a uh, McGraw fuck up. Geechee man, you fucked up, Jeff. Jeff, you fucked up. Now look, you got the media in my life, your life, playing with your mama life. Now the world, the world knows your secret. Freaky ass. I'm Tuka. Freaky ass, nigga. Freaky fraud. Freaky fraud, man. Tuka, the world knows your secret in that game. Cause you try to play with me. You, your stupid ass, you supposed to be so smart, you supposed to came home and never even brought my name up, nigga. If I was in your shoes, and you was me, I would took a nigga. Came home to a bag. I would've came home with a duffel. And I would've never mentioned that I was who? Boy, why the fuck is y'all bringing dude up? Do the door, I'm letting nigga know. Okay, hey, look, I'm gonna do the interview. But these, hey, look, in order for this interview to get done correctly, for our comfort level, I'm not gonna speak on this person. That's a lot of people. Most people that hey, I want to talk about this in the interview. I'm like, uh, nah, for hell no. Nah. Because I created my own lane. Like, this is really a lane for me. Like a lane that I've been succeed and gaining success in. Oh, bro. They f up. Everybody f up. You f up when you went against me. And a lot of you bitches trying to turn it around. But y'all think I'm going to turn it around so y'all can do that again? Uh uh. J made my homie, man. Me and Jay Main always do been doing re rocks, man. Bitch, we time for vanilla reload. Oh, um, bro, me and Jay Main will argue with each other on the internet and then call each other. And then I'll probably still tell for them, like, he a bitch. Cause I ain't what he said. Like, I'm in, hey, all you stupid ass people. Public announcement to the stupid folks. That was a skit. Then y'all hit a gun, click twice. It wasn't even no bullet in the gun. Wasn't none in the head, wasn't no clip in that, man. I'm not upping no gun on my homie. It's a skit, gang. Y'all, I'm too great. Do y'all think anybody having a nuts to come to me with a big ass mice trap in my face? With a big ass block of cheese? Like, gang, I'm retarded, gang. I don't know if y'all think I'm, I'm too, I just try to, I don't know if y'all think, like, I have to hit it on and I'll switch when the cameras come on. It's on took it like you have to know me to know. Like, I f bro. I don't took it sure that, that like that was something that was asked before done on camera, bro. It's all about respect. Because he know. The people who, if you with me, you want to do business with me, I'm letting you know up front what I'm going for, what I ain't coming for. I oh, took ain't no surprise. What? Did I surprise leg you? I surprise kill you. Oh man. I didn't think it was gonna go that far. Why didn't you think it was gonna go that far when you just blame you blatantly disrespect me instead of you coming to me first asking me, hey look, what do you think about this? We all in this shit for the same reason, gang.
We trying to get paid, gang. We doing entertainment, gang. We bringing TV to y'all in our own form. We bringing reality shows and so much other comedy and skits. Like, we bringing this shit to y'all. In its purest form. As pure as we could get to y'all. But it's like, when y'all commentators and the commentators, y'all start making comments and certain things on shit that topics and y'all start putting y'all input. A lot of y'all put negative inputs and things, man. Like, it be a real lot of negative inputs and a lot of shit that y'all do. Like, I saw one person like, oh, man, he upped the gun on J-Man. You should have killed him. Why would you up a gun on him? Now y'all got, now you got to watch your back forever with him. He going to always feel some type of way. Then I saw another motherfucker. Then he really cocked his gun back. Damn, butter. I thought you knew better than to do some shit like that without using it. Hey, gang. That's still my homie, bro. That's my homie, gang. And I say that shit, even when I'm yelling at the top of my lungs, screaming it, like calling J-Main a boy. I always end with, but that's still my homie. That's my brother. He don't took us. His ass a bitch. It's my brother. That's my homie. His ass a bitch. Don't took you. Got me fucked up, shorty. Like, y'all got to stop taking everything y'all see and read serious, man. Sometimes it's a lot of genuinity behind this shit. Like, everybody not out to go hurt each other. Everybody not out trying to go against each other. Um, bro, sometimes y'all form beefs. Y'all create beefs and y'all be in whole different states and cities and shit. And y'all be like, how I do that? It's because you said some shit that rubbed that person wrong, that room made him go do some shit that he ain't even supposed to fucking do. Oh, he said some shit that he ain't supposed to say. All off your comment. And you probably thought your comment probably wasn't even paid attention to. Y'all gotta be careful and be mindful. Y'all take the fun out this shit, bro. On Tuga, man. Hey, in, in the comments, y'all let me know, man. Cam, I'm finna be reading the comments like I'm a motherfucker, bro. And so in the comments, I wanna let I want y'all to know, do y'all wanna see basketball tournaments for the Chicago to end this in a war? Like not like technically it only ends certain wars. Do y'all wanna see a little fighting? Let them a little aggressive off. But y'all gotta think about the basketball players too, shorty. Get that shit off in the, on the, on that basketball field too. We can play flag football, football, tackle football. Like it's a lot of scouts and shit out here. Like, bro, it's a lot of basketball coaches and mentors and people. Like, I took a week. So that's what we supposed to be doing too, y'all. What y'all want to see for Chicago, man? What's the top games y'all want to see the Chicago people put some things to the side doing? Fighting, basketball, football, boxing. You know, fighting is different. Fighting is no gloves, get it on. Let them go, let them go. Let them blow. Let them knuckle on knuckle, let them get it on. Oh, y'all wanna see a motherfucker box get in them gloves and box, man? Y'all wanna see a motherfucker who? Threes, what y'all, three point contest. You know what I'm saying? A lot of, a lot of niggas short. Like, y'all wanna see a, a two on two, three on threes, what y'all wanna see, man? We trying to make Chicago great again, man. We gotta make this shit fun, man. Y'all remember them juke parties from the rink? If you from the rack, you know what I'm talking about. Y'all remember the juke parties in the rink? Let's make Chicago fun again, y'all. What do you think about Mama Duck getting backlash for saying that it took four shooters to kill Duck and it only took one to kill Vaughn? Man, honestly, on some real shit, I feel like OG, because you know how the fans be. They, they be thirsty to create and keep up their own bullshit. You know what I'm saying? I really feel like, Ma, you shouldn't have said that. All took us like, granted, all controversy be like good controversy, but it's like, hey, she's still a woman. You know what I'm saying? You know? I took you somebody mama. She still got a 13-year-old daughter to raise right now. You know what I'm saying? So outside of all that, be mindful, gang. She just going, she just going through something, you know? Because Vaughn mama not on that bitch saying, yeah, this, that, and the third about duck. So we got to be mindful, y'all. You know? Respect is a must, man. Respect is a must. That's why I be, y'all got to really pay attention. Like, when it comes to dead people, I rarely say dead people, bro. Like, I stop that shit. Like, I don't be like, man, 
That dead ass nigga, whoa, whoa, whoa. I don't do all that shit no more, bro. That shit like, oh, took everybody who constantly scream dead people always end up dead, gang. They, end, they always end up one of those dead people. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, man, we gotta respect one another, bro. You know what I'm saying? Cause she not being her feelings, crying to her soul. You know what I'm saying? If motherfuckers are saying some crazy shit about Duck, so she can't say shit about Vaughn. If she don't want that shit in return to come out of Vaughn mama mouth. Or one of them other dead ops mama mouth. You know? Granted, the kids, we are kids compared to Vaughn mama and mama duck and OD mom and Shiraz mom and Platoon, Tukas. Like, we kids to they mamas, bro. They mamas are our mama age or our mama big sisters in them ages, bro. Right? And for a lot of the new shit that's going on, our, our mamas are y'all grandmas. Because on Tuka, nigga, my oldest is running around here like, like, like fooling them. Big boy. My oldest look like he 13, he 10. So, motherfucker gotta be mindful, man. She gotta be mindful. She gotta put her big girl panties on. This is like the same shit I was seeing with Adam. You gotta put his big boy drawers on. Apologize to Destiny Regina Anderson mom and her grandmama. And apologize to Wooski. Wooski ain't do shit to you, bro. Folks ain't did nothing to you, gang. Destiny ain't said nothing bad about you. You ain't say nothing shit about Duck because you still want to pay Ruger and Young and so many uh Sheena, Mama Duck. She, they so money hungry and blind to the fact of I don't took a stand up for what's right. You clown ass people. I don't took a stand up for y'all own people, bro. If you ain't nobody gonna stand up for us, y'all on Tuka, nigga, I always take the hit. I've been taking the hit for everything, y'all. It's time for you to take that shit, goofy boy. Oh, bro. I take that shit and take it on my back. Since our last interview, FBG Young has some things to say about you and uh. Young, yeah, cuz. I don't wanna talk about that. Tell him go slide for his brother. Don't talk to me. Tuka, tell him stop talking about me. Worry about me and what I got going on. I don't Tuka and stop blaming the ops for Cash Whoop. Because the ops ain't kill Cash. I don't Tuka. That's what motherfuckers need to worry about. Because if a motherfucker killed my motherfucking blood brother and still walking this earth, I don't Tuka, I wouldn't be rapping about my homie. I wouldn't be in interviews bashing my fucking homie. I'd be trying to catch a cap, bitch. And I'm done. Next question, please. That's just how I feel. Tuga. And tell them niggas, do something for they peoples, whoever. And it ain't just for young. It's a lot of you niggas out here. On Kyrie, y'all rap that shit. On Kyrie, y'all not out here doing shit for y'all people, bro. But y'all want to argue with me and be in my business. My business not paying y'all. Granny, y'all might be getting paid to be there, but bitch, y'all took it. Y'all can always skip, this, skip my name. I don't want to talk about shorty. Weirdos. Thank y'all, though. Every time y'all say something about me, bitch, I gotta, I gotta come clap back. So if I clap it back, bitch, I'm getting paid. I don't too get me if I'm clapping back off my own page. Think about that. Do y'all want me to be getting paid off y'all name? Because I damn sure don't want you bitch ass niggas getting paid off my name. I'm tired of y'all bitch ass getting paid off my shit. Too good. Find something else to, to get paid off of. Find somebody else to talk about, dick suckers. Because a lot of you niggas talk about butter, but then won't do shit to me. I don't took a shorty. I will beat the fuck out of one of y'all. Ain't none of y'all good with y'all hands. Y'all got to use y'all gun, and I got one of those too. So, fuck on. Fuck off. I don't took a... Now... One of the guys who made some noise was Didi Osama. Who? Ooh. When he dissed Duck. Who? Didi Osama. Man, I ain't talking about him, bro. You know what I'm saying? Folks, folks clapped back at him. But overall, fuck all that. He apologized. I'm glad you 
Right. Real nigga shit. Real man. He did apologize. So I have nothing bad to say about him, Cam. Oh, too good. This really could have been one of them questions that came like, yeah, I don't want to talk about shit. I had nothing bad to say, but I had to go deep into it. Like, he apologized, bro. He know he all the way in New York. We from Chicago. Don't got nothing to do with him. Just like we ain't got nothing to do with him. I don't care who started it. You know what I'm saying? Because Duck didn't start it. And he apologized, bro. That, it, it, that take courage. Charisma. Man activity, bro. Uh, yeah, he definitely acknowledged the situation. I Respect. I, I like on, on bro. That's that's big boy shit. Even if he wasn't running his page, even if his manager team was running his page. Yeah, he said it. Said it. Yeah, you're right. And but and he he typed he it too. And yeah, sure yeah, he not. said duck like flat out yeah, smoking too. Yeah. But he apologized. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So. He stood up on his. He stand, he, that's that's man shit. Like you gotta stand for something. If you are gonna stand for anything, you gotta stand for something, right? Exactly. And he stand for what he stand for. Granted, Billy and them, whoever, twenty two G's, whoever was playing with his people, and them, right? They play with his people. Like he know Billy got a brother to play with. So it take it take a man to oh Tuka because you gotta think about how much attention him seeing Tuka and Duck brought him alone. He could have ran with that shit like a lot of people clout run. They fame run. You know what I'm saying? He could have really took that and ran with that and ran the coattail, all the BDs. Like, because they already with them, right? But he, he, he turned that bitch around and showed like, I don't need nobody. That's, that's the sign of, I don't need dude now. I said what I said because like he said. Like he said what he said, he said, I said what I said because his friend said F my brother. But at the same time, I guess I hit Duck didn't Duck ain't got nothing to do with that. So it took it, it like that's big boy shit, man. I f shorty for that. Like oh, I might not be friends with him, he might not be friends with me. But when it come down to that shit, big shout outs to him. Him and his Wolfie. Ain't that what they do? And respects to your brother. Yeah, big, 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 big respects to his brother, man. Cause I could have been all over the internet. Cause I was when I saw the video. I literally made an Instagram post right then and there. And I dropped the dip. <laughs> and I, but my shit was my shit said fail to upload. So when it came to me to refresh my shit and re-upload it, I just saved the video. And hit the lead on Instagram. And me leaving it alone, two days later, he apologized to Mama Duck. And did That's the growth in me. That's the growth and develop in me. Because I am against the disciple at heart. I am a gangster. But as I've been maturing and growing, I've been growing in my growth and development on two grade because I didn't understand the growth and development part. For real. I was a gangster disciple. On bro, all I knew was GD. That growth and development came in as I became a teenager. And a man. On B. So I, I respect that. So before we get out of here, I want to get your take on a couple of the hottest uh, topics in hip hop. Birdman and Drewski have had a feud going on for a while where, you know what I'm saying? Birdman has been mad at Drewski about the name of his uh, record. Could have been records. And it has a scent, you know what I'm saying, which is similar to the cash money. And recently, TMZ released a video where you could see that one of Birdman's people grabbed uh, Drewski's chain and ran off. Man, I ain't gonna lie. It, I ain't gonna lie. It looked at fake how he was running off screaming, like he was laughing, screaming type shit. Go, 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 huh? go, go, go. But at the same time, it could have been a real situation and... Yeah, cause bro, did, bro just did some, he just had some shit going on with 
He got some shit going on with Bird and Slim. So, dude, them don't play like that, though. They don't be playing for them. Like, all the bullshit to the side, Bird don't be, they don't play like that, cool. It got everybody. A lot of people think it's a skit. Um, you know, if they did, they got TMZ in on it too, which is kind of crazy that TMZ would have been part of that. But a lot of people don't really. But think TMZ can really also easy. thought it was real. You know what I'm saying? You know, they do pick up hot topic celebrities and what they have going on. And that was one of the big major studios down in LA. Like so, you gotta really think about it. Like, how much footage from that studio with artists, underground and big town artists that get sent to TMZ from the camera feed? I don't think Birdman was joking about that. No, nah. but I, I really feel like Shorty pulled up on some. I, I'm gonna get a skit. You know what I'm saying? They know I. They know I'm a comedian. They might not do nothing to me. He might have did pull up on that type of time, and it turned out bad. But let's just hope it's a skit, yo. It's definitely a skit, because me and Jay Main, everything was a skit with me and my homie, shorty. I didn't even have the clip in the gun. If y'all play with guns, which y'all super smart ass. <laughs> that bitch clicked twice. I clack, clack. Hey, hey, that bitch clack, cook, clack. That bitch would have fell out. If it was a bullet in there, it wouldn't have stuck, it wouldn't have got stuck back. I wouldn't have had to kick the side of that motherfucker. That was a Glock. It's a big ass Glock. You feel me? Pay attention, man. What y'all learning? Do you think people pulling pranks a lot more is becoming a bigger thing now to get attention? I mean, you know, the pranks is one way, but you know what I'm saying? Pranks can go bad. You know what I'm saying? But. We go back to, we trying to make the world great. Not just Chicago, bro. We trying to bring the human back to the world. Because everybody got stuck in this nonchalant, not f***ing around stage that on Tuga, nobody know how to lighten up no more. Nobody know how to just be like, you know what I'm saying? Okay, let me lighten up a little bit. Embrace to what's going on and have some fun. Mm. You feel like there's no fun in hip-hop or in the... Uh, you can't have no fun. Hip hop, Chicago, like you know what I'm saying. All this gang banging and war and all that shit. It it take it's taking the funny away. You know what I'm saying? Y'all gotta really think about like how Nick Cannon and so many other people came up in this shit. You know what I'm saying? You know, and a lot of us we all in them same lanes. You know what I'm saying? Right, if we own the camera or behind the camera, behind the camera or running the camera. Come on, bro. All right, man. What'd you think about G Herbo threatening to slap Chris Brown? No comment. No he comment. said he wasn't talking about Chris Brown. No comment. I am not getting in between, neither or. I'm trying to make Chicago fun again. We rock with Chris Brown. Breezy, my boy. I said I'm a lover boy too, just like Breezy. You know what I'm saying? I'll be chilling, man. Chris Brown come and get a track anytime. For sure. Herb too. Tell her let's let's drop that peace track. You see, J Main, bitch, we really pushing peace, bitch. Let's start that. 40k in two days. Let's start that. We could have did better. But you know they don't want to see us shine like that. That's a real hit. That's too mainstream. Sure, the end, look, Ed Bailey was no cussing throughout it. I say, I say, he pushing peace, I'm pushing peas. I'm an Oxycontin fiend, baby, come get you some lean. I done showed you how to break them guns down. Let me show you how to play with these funds now. They say me and my shorty and them, we done, bitch. We f***ing off these funds. We got, I say, I say, he, I say, he fed off, but I'm gonna hit the bank. Man, y'all gotta pay attention, man. A lot of these metaphors and caution I be sharing go over your wonderful head. You hear me, Jack? Look, I'm gonna teach you how to tell paper to the tree, 
water to the sheep and sand to the mother beach. You dig? Y'all ain't gonna keep getting this sauce like that. That's Pimp Daddy Don. <laughs> Did you catch that? You and Herbo came up around the same time. Have you guys ever ran into each other? Do you nah, guys you know, know I'm each other? I'm grown as hell, G. LG, I'm, I'm, I'm grown as hell, OG. You know what I'm saying? When Lil Herb was a freshman and shit, I was already in my junior year. When he was, when he became a freshman at Hat Park, I had been got kicked out two years ago. You know what I'm saying? I'm grown as hell, gang. Me and Lil Herb used to be okay. the same though. <laughs> oh, bro. You take it out that shit wrong. I'm just saying, you know how people be quick on you about telling what you know. So but that shit's wrong. I know for a fact, right? When I was a junior, he was a freshman. That's fine. I'm just saying. Because when I whooped Vaughn on Tuga, when I whooped Vaughn, Lil Herb was still in grammar school. No, Y'all know what I mean, though? They be quick about trying to correct him on his information. Just. <laughs> yeah, they gonna try to Google it, but. Yeah, yeah. What Google say, bitch? I, I know him, know him. We the same. Oh, Tuga, shorty, we went to the same high school, gang. So it hit different when I'm a junior and you a freshman. You see what I'm saying? That means you're younger than me. And I'm, uh, my, everybody be saying, but it's slow. I'm just saying. Tip, tip. Did you guys ever run into each other? Who, me and her? Yep. Oh, some basketball shit. Oh, um, bro, but what number? Ain't no static gang. We all used to go to the same center. Oh, um, bro, but I always used to be popping at that bitch with my little cousin and I'm just cooling. Ain't no static. Oh, um, bro, Shorty, a really, he a good dude, though. On um, took he started getting that money. Him, Vic Mensa, motherfucking, uh, 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 Chance. Yep, Chance. On um, took like, a lot of that shit get looked over. Like, they, they, they put a lot of fucking money back in Chicago public schools. And that was dope as hell. Like Kanye West even pitched in with them niggas. Cause they he saw he saw what they was in, he saw what they was on. Like that was smart as shit. I f with that. I appreciate you, man. Uh, another dope interview, like always. Hey man, you know how we rocking, man. You know what I'm saying? You got your boy FBG by the man, you got Darion the motherfucking Don. You got corporate cartel media in this bitch. Hey no nah, though, man. It's your boy FBG buddy, man. Y'all here, man. Y'all tune in, man, to tip Cam Capone News, man. Y'all ain't gonna get this shit nowhere else, man. Fuck you, suck my dick. What's up? This is Cam Capone. We got more content like this coming soon. So hit that like button, subscribe, and stay locked in to Cam Capone News.